California. Now, in addition to his ranch, where you've seen him so often during his presidency, uh, President Reagan with Nancy Reagan, they have a, a brand new home they'll be moving into in uh, where else? Uh, Beverly Hills. They'll find things very different in Los Angeles than when they left. As people have already pointed out, getting around in traffic out there is going to be a little difficult. They'll still have Secret Service protection, but not helicopters. <laughs> David Barber, uh, from a historical perspective, uh, naturally the, uh, the most fervent supporters of Ronald Reagan are nominating him uh, for uh, Mount Rushmore. Uh, it's always difficult just in those first hours. Never about what happened to people. He expressed his compassion for individuals. That expression is worth appreciating. The other side of the coin is the great gap between what he said and what he did. He leaves the country with some very, very heavy problems. And his own performance as president in the White House was much more unplugged than what you think Bush is going to do. So I think there is a, a real uh, confirmation of Reagan as not being as involved as he should have been by author after author who worked closely with him. We're not talking about people who just had an impression, but people who knew him and worked with him. Uh, so I think there is a, a heavy uh, plus and a minus uh, about it. Uh, you can't just evaluate a president by what happened on the scene, you know? Some things he was into, some things he wasn't into. You know, some children play the game called uh, turn green when they drive up to a stoplight and they see the red and they say, turn green, turn green, turn green. And then when the light turns green, the kid says, power, and I've got it. Now that, uh, <laughs> that kind of thing all politicians like to do. So it's not just what's happening in the country. You got to think about where we are right, where we're wrong in uh, choosing this uh, particular president who was into sentimentality rather than the practical, into the theatricalness of the presidency rather than the reality of it.